If you're a patient who has severe end-stage heart failure that's refractory to all the evidence-based guideline treatment, currently you have two options for ongoing active treatment. One would be to have a heart transplant with all the challenges that that presents, so immunosuppression and limitation of organs available. Or the second would be to go down the route to have an implanted left ventricular assist device. But these left ventricular assist devices are not without complications and some of the most feared for the patients and for their treating practitioners relate to disabling stroke and pump thrombosis that leads to device or pump failure needing re-implantation of a different device or explantation of the device that's there. So in that context, the manufacturers are constantly trying to make better devices that reduce the uh, complication rate of the pumps and improve the dura durability of the pumps. And in that context, the HeartMate 3 pump has been devised. So this is a novel device. It is a fully magnetically levitated centrifugal device uh, that has been designed specifically to reduce pump thrombosis and trauma to blood. And it's done that by three different ways. The first is that it has wide blood flow paths. The second is it's completely frictionless. And the third is it intermittently allows pulsatility to internally wash the device of any potential thrombus. So those three, device, three mechanisms are thought to reduce the complication rate, in particular with respect to thrombus. So in that context, the researchers for Momentum 3 set out to do a prospective randomized controlled trial, non-inferiority and superiority, comparing the centrifugal HeartMate 2 with the longer established older HeartMate 2, which is a mechanical device which has continuous axial flow. Their primary endpoint was a composite endpoint at two years survival without stroke, which was disabling, and without reoperation for device malfunction. And the excitement around this trial comes from the preliminary results at six months, which were published in the New England Journal last year, that showed that there was no device thrombosis and a significantly less rate of stroke. So there's been much excitement about this potential trial result. The results they presented today were this. So firstly, the composite endpoint, the primary composite endpoint, so survival at two years, free from disabling stroke and free from reoperation, was significantly better in patients who received the HeartMate 3, the centrifugal device. So 79.5% versus 60.2%, so a big difference. And when you drill down to it, the difference primarily came from reoperation rates, which were only 1.1% in the newer HeartMate 3 versus 15.7% in the HeartMate 2. And also there was a reduction in stroke rate between the two groups. So just around 10% in the HeartMate 3 versus 19-ish percent in the HeartMate 2 group. So three areas important to patients and important to treating practitioners that were significantly better in the HeartMate 3 group. So when I take this back and think, what does this mean? So firstly, I think it's a fantastic trial because they looked at the whole patient pathway and looked at protocolized management, even including the acute setting, which where we know the die can be cast for long-term complications. Second, they absolutely have to be congratulated with the very low rate of complications. And this study has the lowest stroke rate of any LVAD study that's been presented at two years. And third, which is most exciting, is I think it really genuinely moves us forward to a point whereby we may be looking at equipoise, not there yet, but should I have a VAD or should I have a transplant? Should I keep my VAD or should I have the transplant I've been offered? We're not there yet, as I say, but I think it's going to be very exciting to see the next trials coming in the future.